I think that's uh, one thing that also jumped out there for me was it's it's spotting the gap, mm-hmm. and and I and and it's something that I refer to as as the value gap, because just because you do something that's the same as others, there is something there that can either be improved on or is is not existing in a service or a product or a business or something like that, and you can come in and fill that gap. Now you have to be able to identify it. So what would you? How would you take someone through that? process or the, or the or the exercise of potentially uncovering or discovering that gap yeah so you know in my mind that kind of takes us back to a positioning strategy and really being able to analyze the competitive landscape and and really mapping it out in a good old fashioned four by four grid <laughs> and plotting all of the competitors um, on this x and y axis right and kind of coming up with what are those variables and and then where's the hole? And, and so again, as we're thinking about it, you know, with being um, leading customer first or problem first instead of product first, right? So we might have an idea of a product, but if it's not positioned in a way that fills that unique gap in the market, then we're just a me too product and me too products can be successful, but they are a lot more difficult to be successful with something that is just a me too solution than literally figuring out where you're going to position yourself. The example that I like to use is Chipotle in in tacos. Um, So here we have a brand called Chipotle, which is antibiotic free meat that's used, right? So, I mean, like whoever thought that we needed like another taco brand, I mean, there's taco brands everywhere, but this market, I mean, this company came in, they obviously did their, their their competitive analysis, figured out where they could carve out their space. And, and so there, it's a, very different avatar or a very distinct customer that buys from Taco Bell versus Mm. that buys from Chipotle. Mm. And Chipotle has lines and lines of people every day, all day buying their product. (laughs) So it is finding that gap. I'm trying to think. I, I don't think we've got Chipotle here. I mean, we've yeah. got. A, I mean, we we have inherited the obsession for um, burritos, and <laughs> it's evident in the fact that my eldest daughter, when you say Molly, what's your favorite food? She goes burritos every uh, time. So right. she absolutely loves them. Anyway, yep. but I th- I think it's it's yeah. Like when you go back, when you sort of scale out a little bit further, there is also what you're looking at that you you're you're competing in a fast food market. And there is huge competition in that. And to yeah. be able to look at it and, and and I mean, you might say that going specifically for a Mexican style restaurant is niching enough or however you want to say it. But they went even further and they found that gap, the thing that people were looking for. And yeah. the rest is, is history in, in terms of uh, the success that they're having over there. <laughs>